Hitchcock, Hitchcock. I went and took a nap. Now I'm back, woke. Now, the, the funny part about the whole thing is the whole Obama situation. I told people in the beginning he can only do what he can do, but I don't, personally, I don't, I don't want to see a, a black president fix all the shit that white people have created. Not all white people have created from this, but 92% of white people have benefited from it happening. So, half of you is wrong and half of you is right. <laughs> so, you're right. <laughs> so, so, I just want you to know that, you know, my, I got a half bud brother. I got, I got a white stepmom and the whole situation between Obama and poor people is a joke, man. They rush to the first black president they get because, come on, man, America's been fucked up for a minute, and okay, the least can happen is the black guy going to try to make for the poor people to at least get some relief, and he is. Healthcare. If he do healthcare, it'd be the single most fucking, feel like this, it'd be the first time in modern history that you know, a, a modern president put the people first. Period. And I'd love to see the black man be the first one to do that. But when it comes for reparation and shit, I told everybody black. Just because the president is black don't think you're finna get a check in the mail and life is finna be different. That shit is not finna happen. You're not gonna get no check in the mail because Obama's the president. Period. It takes a white president to fix a president, I mean, a problem created by, you know, white people, and and if, if I'm gonna say slavery was created and by totally by white people, then that'd be wrong, because of course there's people out there who gonna tell us that you know white people been enslaved all this time and and they ain't never had their fair shake and, and ain't nobody ever gave them nothing and why the hell is Black people, just because they've been enslaved a couple hundred years, they think that that's the holding them down. Well, like I said, whoever enslaved the white people, at least he took his foot off their goddamn fucking neck. At least, that's what it appears. Maybe they still slaves. I don't know. I'm not trying to dwell in today's situation too much, because mine is fucked up as it is. So you're right, man. I got little bullshit battles arguing with people. And there's drama and everything, but there's a little fun to that too. Because YouTube has got boring. And you know, even though the clown said something that made no sense to a lot of people, it made sense to me that at one point YouTube was fun because people would battle J. Ryder. But see, J. Ryder's quick to go fucking pick up a book and show you where you're wrong. J. Ryder is quick to, to point out a fact. The real AIX, I don't work on facts. <laughs> I work on how I feel. I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> this is my opinion. That's it. It's no more than an opinion. And that's what I love about Jay Ryder. Because he will beat the shit out of you with a fact. He might irritate some people and piss some people off. But when he slap you with a fact, <laughs> you can be mad as you want to. You can't do shit. A fact is a fact. Now, when it comes to the trash man war, I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. He came out and said my wife and my son said I was a cross-dresser. I mean, my wife and my daughter said I was a cross-dresser. Then I came out and said half the men he do videos with are men looking the titles and in the, in the, in the um, credits. But apparently, people want to question my quotes. They want to tell me that, well, how can you prove he do this? And how is this? And how is that? And how is this? And how is that? But ain't nobody questioning the fact that he told you that I told him that I'm a cross-dresser and my family don't like it. So if it's all in fun and he can say something about me and I can't say nothing about him, that's, that's what makes this like the schoolyard. You know, he is, you know what, he's not the bully. He's the bully's cousin. You know what I mean, the little bully? He's the bully's cousin. And he gonna start some shit and then run and hide behind his cousins and shit and his little friends, little girls that like him, whatever. Blah. You're right. That is blah. It was funny that he did a video about me. He took one of my videos. He put some lady dancing in the background. You know, what have you. I took the same video. I enhanced my music. I edited the video. 
<laughs> my video was flagged. I took it down instantly. Now I got a mark on my page. It's gonna be, I'm gonna be marked for the next six months. I'm like, damn, I'm on YouTube probation. And I just put in my like fourth uh, application for partnership because I still got you know grandiose ideas just to see if this will ever fucking work. Mm. And heartburn's kicking in. So. I do agree with you. Jay Ryder puts out some excellent videos lately. I haven't seen Father Judgment in a while, but Father Judgment's rhetoric of uh, Obama has been found in some cases, and in some cases it hasn't. I'm going to tell you guys the definitive of what I think about Father Judgment. I like the guy. He's all right. People have opinions, and some opinions differ. I thought in the beginning he was a little too hard on Obama because... As hard as Father Judgment was on Obama, these people sat back and watched George Bush be president for four years on YouTube. I mean, eight years. And for eight years, there was not hard on Bush an inkling. I mean, even close. I mean, they are suffocating Obama with Obama drama. That's why I call him old drama. I was the first person to say old drama. Not Obama, old drama. Because the people on YouTube... First, you, you get this overwhelming feeling that they're bashing the man because he's black. That's the first thing you get. Now, white people have been in charge forever. As long as I have been alive, some white person has been in charge of my everyday life around me. President, governor, you know, doctor, whoever. It was always white person, period. That's how it was for a lot of black people growing up. That's how it is still for a lot of black people growing up. I don't think I seen a black doctor until I was a grown man. And then all of a sudden there was one on TV. His name was Huckster Billy or some shit like that. Oh well. Whatever. So what I'm trying to say is this. Out of all the events that's happened recently in YouTube and all this drama uh, London Canada did a video um, you know is Obama going to help black people his job was never to help black people it was to ease the perception of slavery you know I see somebody saying Obama didn't win the popular vote well George Bush didn't win the popular vote either so if you got something to say about Obama you should have said it about Bush the first time um I'm just tired of Obama getting all this flag because I never knew, I mean, I never thought he was going to be, quote unquote, the super black savior like everybody else was saying. I never thought that was going to ever happen or materialize, and it won't. Um, as far as uh, the state of YouTube, it's still fun. I mean, people want to do videos. I got people trying to ask me personal business and shit. <laughs> it wasn't a real plant. Show me your plants. It's almost nighttime right now. I wonder if I can walk over here. Cause today I tried to show my little plant. And the camera died. Let's see if I can do this one last time. This is for Hitchcock. Now that it's darker out. See, look, there you go. There's the light. Fuck it up. See if I can do this. see it right now. Let's see. Okay. Now, that's neat. I could just actually see it this time. I do not advocate the use of marijuana for personal use, only for medical use only. I believe headaches, stress, drama, and just to overall give you a better feeling and aspect of your situation. Stress is so hard nowadays, people kill themselves and their families and everybody needs a little bud sometime to stop them from going off. So I only got like 10 seconds. I appreciate you posting the video, man. And hopefully nobody be bothering you on your page or whatever. You know, sometimes when these little skirmishes go down, they go down and people get too.